I might do that. I'm not sure if I want to or not. It depends on whether I actually try hard and get a finish or not. Which I'm, I'm not really sure what I want to do for standard yet. It, it's basically rests on whether or not I feel like grinding the next few days. And I kind of don't. But I might just try anyways. Plague and Horror are really bad against any Priest deck. Uh, Big Priest should be really tough for this deck. Because you don't get a cycle as fast as you want to to get the combo off. Sometimes if they don't have like a good Shadow Essence on 5 though, you can win. I don't think Priest in general is really tough, just Big Priest. Greetings. Like Green and Priest should be hard. be good. He probably fell asleep queuing. If I was playing Paladin all day, I would also fall asleep while queuing games, so don't worry. Okay, wait. That is not going to happen. That is not going to happen. I love it. That is not going to happen. I love Lunara. She's the best. I think I'm actually going to nurse your cards because the sand's just not good. There's nothing that I'm really looking forward to getting other than UI, really, if I nurse for ramp, and that's not very good. It's kind of awkward. It, it's also good because the, the whole point of the deck is to just draw as much as you can as fast as you can, really, so it's it's nice. Okay. Big Priest coming through, guys. Going to nourish now for mana because I'm going to play Howl with it. Just makes sense. Nice. So now we're gonna try and dump the hand before turn ten. It's probably not gonna happen, so we're gonna have to UI on uh, the turn after we have ten crystals. But it's all good. Oh, crafts big priest all golden man. That's how you know you're playing against a true degenerative wild ladder. Golden big priest. Oh, you guys better watch out, man. So we'll play Pass, and I want to play Spellson. Uh, I'll probably Wrath to draw too, though. Or actually, I don't want to Wrath to draw because I want a UI. Huh. So armor, armor. I mean, I don't want to just like waste cards because it's not good. Poison Seeds is a really good reset. I don't really want to waste that either. Huh. I could gain 12 armor, Seeds, and play Spellson. But his Res Pool is bad. It's kind of weird, though, because it's using way too many um, too many resources to deal with it, you know? It's just not good. But I, it's like... The only thing that really makes sense to me is doing something like that. <laughs> you have all Golden Priest cards. Well, the thing is, it's not just all Golden Priest cards for Big Priest. You also have to have, like, Golden Barns... Golden, I mean, Golden Rag, if you play Wild, should just be a thing you have, because you, you probably got it back for free. But you know what I mean. Go in. Okay. I think we all know what Control's playing next turn. The ultimate card. Drawn a bunch. This isn't, it's not like the best pan or whatever, but it's actually okay. I feel like it's okay at least. I'm not going to Oaken first, I probably should, but I'm just going to UI. Uh, Zelina... Aviana, ooh. Oh, Malfurion, okay, one card off the combo now. One cool thing you can do is when you have the full combo, you can actually just UI and overdraw yourself, because you're just going to be swapping decks anyways. I, that, that's one of the funniest things that I found about this deck that I actually like doing a lot is just nourishing for three cards when I have a full hand already or just like UIing when I'm going to overdraw three or four. It makes I don't know why it's so stupid because it's very rare that you're going to intentionally make yourself overdraw, but in a deck where you want to swap decks, it makes sense. So I, I like it. Fortunately for us to honestly, like, Sashi is not even very good for him. It, it's okay at best. Uh, I'm going to play Oaken Summons here and probably Wrath after. So, logic with that is... What's the logic with that? So I want to draw. I want to pull um, Ironwood out of my deck. It's like a tutor effect. I don't want the card to be dead. 
Guess it's the logic of not playing off your end. It's a lot of obsidian statues. Let's uh, give him a ferocious howl. Let's play Malfurion. Card draw. Where are you at? Where are my card draw at, though? Where are my card draw at, though? Where are my card draw at, though? Will I get golden versions of his deck in hand though? I'm honestly not sure how it works. We'll see. Uh, usually normal cards, like like non-golden cards, the like copy cards, give you golden options. That's usually how it works. If, is if, if you have like a a normal faceless manipulator and then you copy something, and what you copy is a, uh, a golden card, then it should be fine. So I could actually go in here and just draw with branching. The only time that I don't get to pull the combo off is if I get Oaken Summons and Swipe, though. Which would be kind of awkward, so I don't think I really want to do it, even though it works most of the time. Take the safer route. Okay, we drew Togwoggle, so we just want to draw again. Wild Growth's the best draw, and we can mill ourselves. Okay, so now we play Wild Growth. And now we draw again. And yeah, let's gain six instead of three. Huh, I have 82 health, wow. And no deck left. Wow, 82 health, that's kind of good. How to be big priest? Get big health. I think I do the combo and then I play Poison Seeds. Oh wait, it doesn't work, right? So I copy his hand, yeah, it doesn't work. So I just play Seeds then. Yeah. It kind of sucks to be a spell stone, which is kind of likely, but I just don't want him to have that board. Um, Innervate, I don't think it's that great. Like innovate plug against aggro or innovate UI. I think Wrath is better. I don't think I'd want to cut stuff for it, is my problem with it. So let's go in. Say thank you for the deck, senor. Thank you for the deck, brother. Brother. Well, he probably doesn't want to do that for us. We definitely don't want to do that for him either. This hand is so dead. It does nothing. My thoughts are so I just pass then? We don't need to do anything to win now. Because he, he never gets there anymore. Ever. Like, he just fatigues out. You see, damage doesn't matter if I use the swipes or not, man. Doesn't matter. Nothing, nothing I do matters anymore, man. Like, I just play Ransom after he does it, and then it's GG. That's all that happens. His hand's dead. How much damage I, is, I do isn't relevant. Barnes, let's go. Aw. That's a little bit better. I have bested you. Thank you. 36, let's go. Taking Togwoggle Druid to the big boy ranks, am I right? <laughs> 